Text areas are for more than just text. They can have controls that start different automation and perform different actions. They can run different advanced scripts in R or Python, and they can help guide your user through the analysis. Before we get into the advanced stuff, we need to just focus on the basics of how the text area works, which is the purpose of this video lesson. I'm gonna start with this NFL running back analysis that shows different running backs that have played in the NFL, those that are in the Hall of Fame and those that are not. And this focuses on Roger Craig, who has been a candidate for the Hall of Fame in the past. And here on the top left, you'll see this text area, which kind of guides the user. It explains a little bit about this page. And it also has some bookmarks in here that you can control to show Roger Craig and show other Hall of Famers. Now, before I dive into the text area, I wanna point out this is an annotation and that's a little bit different. Annotations are free, free floating around and you can add an annotation by going to visualizations and new annotation. And annotations will allow just text but in the text area, we can do much more. So let me start from an unformatted text area and show you the different options here. So with the text area, you have properties like you would have with any visualization properties, but this is mostly just gonna turn on and off your title bar. There's two other sets of uh, editing controls. There's the HTML editing, and then there's the text area editing. So with the HTML editing, you can go here and you can see all of the contents of the text here in the HTML format. And from here, you can do advanced things like JavaScript and CSS, and we're not gonna go into that uh, in detail today. Now, in this edit text area, this is where you can really start formatting this just like you would with a kind of a word editor. So here, I can grab this and I wanna make this a little bit larger and make this stand out. I'm gonna make this kind of like the 49ers, San Francisco 49ers, um, like their font. So here I have the complete package for the name of this page, and I'm gonna color the back of this like these, um, these colors here. So I can go to my uh, color for the background color, and I can pick a color from the screen, and that way I can change the background color, and that'll make that stand out a little bit different. When I hit save, you'll see that this has now updated. Let me drag this down here, and we'll look at this a little bit more. Now here we have some different button controls and I can right click these button controls and format them individually as well. So I can, for instance, make this bold and for the text color, I can pick another color on the screen and I'll hit okay and I'll save this and you'll see that for Roger Craig. All right, in the background, I went ahead to do the same for the next button. And these buttons are action controls where you can do different automation like jump to different pages and load bookmarks or an iron Python scripts. Uh, and advanced data functions. We'll cover that in a separate video lesson. So going back to just the basic text formatting, if I want to create a new line, I can hit enter, but that's actually gonna create a new paragraph. And you'll notice that when I save this, there is a space in between there. Let me expand this again. So when I hit enter, you'll see again, it's a new paragraph. And I save this, again, a blank there. Now, if I hit shift and enter, that is actually gonna do a line break. So I can say, now this is a new line and that will be directly under there. And that's just a little bit about how the HTML works in Spotfire. Now, if this is really close to the edge there, so if I want, I can highlight all this and I can indent this to kind of bring it away from the edges there. So I've done that. You also have other very basic formatting like the alignment, you can add bullets and numbers, you can change the bolding of the text, the italicizing, you can change that just like you would with any word editor. Now the background colors, you can change a background image as well and place that there and you can place um, web links directly in here for linking to different pages. Now let's talk about alignment. Here I have a routing dashboard that shows turn by turn directions calculated in Spotfire and here I've put these controls all uh, in, in a very aligned fashion. So the way that I did that in the text area is I used, um, I created all of my drop downs and my input fields, a topic again we'll discuss in a different video. And after I created those, I went into right clicking and I went into the HTML editor and I put a table, HTML table in here and then put all of my objects, this this in the brackets is an object, and then this is a text, 
And in between these, you can see this is TD, which is table data, and TR, which is table row. So I created a table and then I just placed and copied and pasted and placed my objects in there in the HTML editor. Now, if you'd like a simple tool for creating an HTML table, I like to go to this website and you can do file new table and you can choose however many uh, columns and rows that you want. So if I want a wide uh, table that has four columns and two rows, I can hit that and it's generating that here. I can set some formatting if I like. Um, I don't want this to generate CSS and I don't want the first row to be a header. And so you can see here, this has now generated that table for me with the table uh, data and the table rows. And I can copy that to my clipboard and put it in Spotfire. Now, Spotfire text areas don't require you to know HTML, but there's some nice simple little tricks you can do with some very easy HTML. So it's worth a look into just some HTML basics if you have the time.